Welcome everybody, it is Tractor Shoot here, and I was about to pack it in for the night before I checked my email, and I got an email from one of my newer submitters, and he had a little interesting thing to say about this game, which I will show you in a little bit here. Anyways, to start this off here, we have in the bottom right-hand corner, the Blue Terran being played by Serotonin, 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 I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. You elect how you want to pronounce that. In the bottom left corner, we have the submitter being Bricks playing as the Red Terran. Now, I was told here to pull up the APM count because he was very impressed by his opponent's APM. And let's take a boo here. We are currently riding on 200. Fair enough, that is very, very high. Both these guys are Silver League players. Even for Silver, that is a very high APM count. And it is climbing. Wowzer, 300, 400 APM. Holy he was not lying to me, and I'm glad I stood up. That is one incredible APM there. Look at that. That's just average. <laughs> Jeez, over, he was over 1,200 APM at one point in time. That is something else, especially out of a Silver League player. Anyways, now that we have gotten that out of the way, I am impressed, so I am waiting to see what he's got in store. We will pull up our production tab here, where we have nothing special happening other than gas going down for bricks. Uh, production of SCVs out of both. And, of course, a bear axe coming out of serotonin. Brex is going to do the standard wall-off, it does look like here, as he has the bear axe slash supply depot, and I would have to imagine another supply depot will go down as well. We are going to get the random scatter build by serotonin here as we will speed this up until we get something going here. Nobody electing to scout this early here, so it will be no scouting. Pounding his supply depots in the back of the base. Not entirely sure why he's putting them back there. Maybe getting them out of the way. Who knows? But that will be built the back of the base here. We are getting a bunch of gas going for bricks. Leads me to believe we might see some reaper action. Usually that is a sign when you get the gas that early. Let's find out what he's going to elect to do with it here. Usually you pound off either one reaper right off the bat, then the reactor. No, he is going with a marine. Silly me predicting a Silver League player doing a normal move when getting the early gas. Maybe he just wants an early gas for something special. Anyways, Brex is electing to scout out here, so he is sending off his SCV. Oh boy, we are getting something interesting. We are getting a proxy factory build out of Brex here. This is what I like to see. Creativity in the Silver League. Not that it's unheard of to see a proxy factory, but in the Silver League, I like to see it, and I like to see it pulled off, so we'll see if that happens. We're getting the command center, so it is, does look like serotonin. Serotonin is going to wall up, is going to expand early. Just has this wall of supply depots in the back of his base. Maybe that's so somebody cannot run around the backside. That is actually creative. And I think that's actually unique and not stupid at all. So if he does get any harassment, he can basically trap someone back there. They'd have to run right through the middle of the mineral line here. So that is kind of neat. If you ask me, it's not a bad little move. Um, definitely not seen very often. Let's take a look at what he's doing up here. He is... What the... <laughs> <laughs> he's building an armory up here too i'm not entirely sure what is with the army he does get a tech lab out here uh with the uh factory here not too sure what he's going yet maybe a thor rush we will soon find out i have to imagine it's going to be a thor rush it was a stupid question as the armory did go down we'll slow this down and find out what's going to happen does have a lot of marines might want to send them over to support that thor we will soon find out if that is going to happen here we do have a lot of marines for serotonin here and he does have the command center training scv so he is doubling them onto the uh mineral line there we have seen that from an earlier game i cast it as well not a bad move i guess there we go we have canceled that elected to go with the reactor is going heavy on the factory two factories coming down here we are getting the orbital command okay we are going to grab an orbital command here on this one as well so two orbital commands and mules being dropped down so very good move his marines are moving across the map here maybe it's a good thing that brex did keep his marine count over here as he will need them now i would imagine that thor is done yes it is does need to get that thor moving as if you're doing the um proxy factory you really want to get him on early apparently going with two so not a bad move per se you're definitely not getting off early oh no this could be devastating especially if this marines go down he could be in big trouble here he will lose all these marines big time this could be big big trouble as all these marines are going to move in the base whether or not he brings the thor back to protect us or he just goes all in thor versus marines for a base race we'll find out because i don't know if he can protect this door but if serotonin is going to sit down there this might a lot bricks enough time to get an army out so he can defend this here so we will find out here but not moving is really killing him bricks has now got the second thor about the finish is sending the first into the base here 
So when these stores, oh no, and he of course has his buildings off the ground, and will, they will not be building, is getting tanks at the same time. This could be big trouble for him. Both Thors with the SCB. Always smart to keep your SCBs with the Thors when you're doing a bit of a rush like this. It is eight minutes in, but it still is a bit of a rush. Might catch him off guard. He is going to bring him right into the mineral line, I would have to expect here. And we'll see what happens, whether or not he elects to bring the Marines back, or if he just goes for the all-in base race, realizing he will not be able to fend that off. He has moved these ones over here. Rix is coming all the way up here. He is going to massacre everything he can here. He did massacre what was left up here, which was that one tank that did come out there. And he is going to go at him here right for the mineral line. Serotonin is electing to go for the base race here. Whether or not he'll be able to do it with this many Marines, we will soon find out. He does have a lot of Marines. Might bring some SCBs to distract them for the counter here. There they go. Getting lots of SCB kills. The mines have planted themselves. We'll take, uh, I believe, three or four shots. Uh, probably three, actually to kill a Thor. I could be wrong. Could even be two. So don't quote me on that. They're just out of range right now. So he is getting all these STB kills. Bowser, look at these Thors go. We have 13 out of one, 12 out of the other. They're killing the um, add-ons for each of these buildings. So very, very smart. He has managed to move in here. He does have the Marines spitting out. He's going to bring all the SCVs over here. If it does turn into a base race, I do believe Bricks will win as he does have these two buildings over here and could bring the Thors back to attack. There goes the one. Um, command center there is going to kill the tech lab there so that will stop any production of any more tanks and is going to get the one more widow mine out here now whether or not brex knows that widow mine is there and doesn't move would be smart well oh just gets the other widow mines three widow mines are out this could be deadly as he will plant them obviously at the ramp there to protect the rest there we do have a lot of scvs did these scvs end up cleaning up yes they did end up cleaning up the rest of those marines there so very very well done by brex there does get them all right back to mining here and there goes the other one. Oh, he loses that widow mine i don't know if these three widow mines are gonna be enough especially if bricks choose to scan before leaving he's got to know the other widow mines that ran off are sitting there we will soon find out whether or not he does know that or not he is still building a refinery so he's still playing as if as if he uh is gonna get some units out there does unburl him not oh Oh, he gets the scan off, and he has the range. Deadly. That should basically be the end of Serotonin here. What a sick proxy factory that was. This might work out quite fine. Bricks played this very, very smartly, knowing that he would have these Widow Mines buried. That Widow Mine's going to get off. Not as going to do a whole lot. I would have to imagine that the factory's going to go down pretty quick. Really needs to target that factory before any more Widow Mines get out of there. Um, oh, he was actually building a, or a uh, reactor on there. So he is going to take out the rest of these SCVs if he can here. They're all going to go for the Thors. They're not going to do him a whole lot of good. That'll be GG once the last of these SCVs go down here. The Serotonin does have a ton of money. Nothing he can do with it at this point in time. I don't know why he's not targeting the factory. He doesn't really need to. Serotonin has left the game. Very good play. That was some sick APM in the beginning and very good proxy factory build with the two Thors. So very, very smart. Congratulations to Bricks. My condolences is the Serotonin. And just remember, brush your teeth with the proper toothbrush because if you do the flossing, you might see the grass grow right. Anyways, I thank you so very much for watching. Appreciate all the subscribers. Appreciate all the replays being sent in. You be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace.